right, ready? All right, so we are gonna add some pesticides and chemicals and other um, things you might find uh, in the Chesapeake Bay watershed. Underneath the car, we're gonna put some oil to represent what you might find in a parking lot. Um, soil will be found on farms and other places. So I'm gonna put some pepper down for soil. And anywhere you have soil. We have garlic powder um, as pollution from the factory. Thank you. We have cinnamon as fertilizer. We're gonna find this on a farm, right? On our farm right here. And we have salt as pesticides also found on the farm and maybe in houses and the Chesapeake Bay watershed. Okay, so we've created our uh, land masses and our watershed and now we're gonna pretend that our beautiful spray bottle is raining just like we had yesterday. And I'm gonna just rain, uh, rain it down and we're gonna look what happens to all of the pesticides, the pollution, the car oils, the fertilizer, and the soil runoff that we see in our um, model. <laughs> it looks like lots. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and as you can see, the rainwater is uh, with the gravity from earth pulling all of our pesticides and fertilizers and car oil down further and further um, into the lower levels which would be the creeks on the sides here and the rivers and then at the bottom here it's going to start filling our Chesapeake Bay with more and more runoff pesticides chemicals oils and fertilizer all right, and we're almost done. All right. Does that look like clean blue water? I don't think so. Thanks a lot, guys.